Jesus is the door and that it is only those who enter through him that will be saved. People may attempt to enter heaven through other ways, but they will be disappointed because the only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. If you reject the sacrifice Jesus paid to purchase your salvation, you are a wicked person. Irrespective of how morally good and well-behaved you are, it is good for us to note that good works do not qualify anyone to enter heaven. The only people heaven is meant for are the believers in Christ, those that are saved by grace through faith in him. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Salvation is not about you. Salvation is not about you. The Christian faith is not a man-centered faith. It is a Christ-centered faith. Our salvation is based completely and utterly on what Jesus did on the cross. You cannot add to your salvation. Not one of us is going to heaven because of our morality, but those who go to heaven are going because they have accepted the gift of salvation. Matthew 7 verses 21 to 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who do what my Father in heaven wants will enter. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we drive out demons in your name? Didn't we do many miracles in your name? Then I will tell them clearly, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who do evil. This passage of scripture reveals to us that there are those who are assured they are going to heaven, but in actuality, they have no reason to be assured. Their assurance is false. They are doing nothing except deceiving themselves. They genuinely believe they are born again, but they are not. So, what is a clear indication that you are going to hell? There is no change in your life since you were born again. You cannot be born again and experience no change in your life. If before you were born again, you used to lie, steal, and cheat, and then after you're born again, you still lie, steal, and cheat with no change whatsoever, examine yourself. I am not for one second saying Christians do not sin once they are born again. We all know they do, in fact. But what I am saying is that when the Holy Spirit enters your life, there has to be a change in your life, a change that even if you do fall into old sin, you repent or are filled with godly sorrow towards your sin and not the joy you once had committing that sin. When you love sin and do not show any feelings of remorse for sins you have committed, it is a sign you need to examine yourself. Instead of taking responsibility for your sins and seeking the mercy of God, if you always try to justify yourself and give excuses for your wrongs, it is a sign you need to examine yourself. If you find yourself planning your day around sin or going out of your way to sin, you need to examine yourself. I must be clear, Christians do sin and they do fall short. I must repeat again, no one goes to heaven because of their morality. You enter heaven by accepting the free gift of salvation. My point here is simply this. If your life is exactly the same before you gave your life to Christ, you need to examine yourself. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test.